I saved the best for last. It's a very scary tale to imagine. It's about Bellingham, how we required an ancient mummy known for doing terrible things. Know about messing with the ancient world. Old. Let's get to our story. Did you hear, hear, hear David? What is it, Bellingham? I got hold of that ancient mummy look we'll imagine. How's that possible? It was possible. I don't believe this horse is desecrating a tomb. What do you mean? People have to practice mummification before Christ would receive the Virgin Mary. I don't believe this is just terrible. I have some things to do. And one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Lisa? What is it with Bobby? Bellingham just required an ancient mummy. I don't believe this. You better go there tonight and check on him. It's, I don't know about these things. He's weird. And about you associating with him. Well, I don't know about this and some things. Wonder what he's thinking. Not thinking anything. First thing they do when they mummify a body, drag a knee up his nose, drag right up his nostrils, and cover up his innards, and assemble all flowers and spices. Then rub oil over to keep his skin soft. Wrap up with limb bandages. Put fit mask in face to protect against evil spirits. Burr, cassia, onions. Onions of what? Fortune cookie. Read it. Uh, I don't care, read ancient Egyptian. By the power of the sun and the moon of Sirius, I command you to come to life. Oh my god, you're not alive. You can't be alive. Ah! My worksheets, where are you doing them? Well, I'm going to start a fire chair and burn you. Why? Because you killed my sister. Large part chair has been airtight an alibi. He's been dead for 3,000 years. This is my friend, nice kindling. Oh, Bobby, you're crazy. Oh, forgot my matches. Grow, grow a light. I'm in the, I believe being prepared. See, better in case the power blows. I don't got to apologize for any crisis my cause. Not going to call cops because it's who actually the mummy actually came alive and killed, killed your sister. <sighs> One timey, please. Yeah. See, so there's a tell where that scroll is. You don't need the scroll. Only work for that particular moment you're totally destroyed. Under my on my bed. Is there a place? Well, yeah, well, show up so. That's where I made my whole career. People die because of it. Killing me will bring him back. To let you live will bring him back. Don't worry, you'll never see me again. I come with you, keep in touch. The powers of death, terror, revenge, I command you to come to life. What's so funny? Well, I'm, let's see what this guy used to know. I'm going to tell about proving on things and some things. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'll be home on after final, so I can manage it. No, please don't have any leads. Y'all check it out. Bobby Bellingham sends his regards. A little lesson, eh? Never deal with evil spirits without a little insurance, eh? <laughs> well, it's time for this. Boogie man to boogie. I'll be slaying you, boils and ghouls. Till next time we meet.
This is Uncle Scary wishing you Happy Halloween! So, we had a great fun this Halloween, but sadly, it's time to say goodbye. Usually, October 31st, that's to be the only time we celebrate scares and Halloweens and monsters. So, dress like a pirate in the mall. Who cares if people laugh? Knock on people's doors, bang on people's food. Sure, people will laugh at you, but who cares? We'll be back next week with our usual friend of Lunacy, you know, imagine. Remember, I prank your door, there's pneumonia outside. That's just a restless spirit. Rapping on your door, there's a monster waiting to eat you. Ew. And all those horrible things that happen, that they said didn't exist, well, they do. So, it's your old uncle Scary wishing you. Pleasant nightmares, everyone.